COVID-19 may have slowed us down, but it has also allowed us to recharge our batteries, allowing us to put measures in place that strengthen our resilience. That sums up its impact on tourism, and we are coming back stronger and better. To help the industry come back stronger, over $10 billion has been granted to the Minister of Tourism for operations in the 2021-2022 financial year. As it seeks to improve the economic affairs of the industry, the ministry will focus its efforts on three areas, executive direction and administration, promotion of tourism, and public resort development. Executive direction and administration will be allocated some $866 million. Tourism promotion will be financed by a budget of $5.6 billion, while $4.4 billion is earmarked for public resort development. Under executive direction and administration, over $61 million will be spent on public relations and communication activities. This includes promotion of the Tourism Workers' Pension Scheme sensitization sessions, the novel plan to secure the retirement of industry employees. To further push tourism, over $3.2 billion is allocated to overseas marketing to support the cost of Brand Jamaica advertising. This covers advertising done on television, radio, newspapers, consumer and trade magazines, as well as billboards to lure more visitors to the island. With respect to tourism development, there are plans to support the Tourism Enhancement Fund's mandate to coordinate and implement various sector activities, such as beach development and repair of roads to attractions at a cost of over $2.1 billion. $240 million is set aside for the Tourism Business Development Project. This is to further strengthen tourism linkages with other sectors, such as agriculture and fashion. Destination assurance is also to be ramped up with a sum of $2.1 billion. It's to offset several small projects, such as spruce up Pandakana and processing of licenses. Tourism industry is Jamaica's bread and butter. It is responsible for 9.5% of GDP, contributes 50% of the foreign exchange earnings of the economy, and generates 354,000 jobs, direct, indirect, and induced. We will continue to infuse our warmth and culture in everything we do to remind the world that this is the number one place to be. The Ministry of Tourism in 2021-2022, despite the mega fallout from the global pandemic, will seek to revitalize, re-energize and rebound to claim well-needed foreign exchange and jobs for the country.